Hi, welcome to my channel. So today we will be making the Otter Track bracelet with Rain Balloon. This is really easy and it's great for beginners. Let's get started. So before we begin gathering any materials that we would need to make this bracelet, I decided that maybe it would be nice to show you some of the examples that I have made of the Otter Track bracelet so we get an idea of what the outcome should be. So these are two of them. It's a reversible bracelet. So this is one side where you have two conjoined fish tails. And this is the other side of that where it's almost sewn together both sides like that. And for this bracelet, I did a pattern. So you guys feel free to change up the pattern and use different colors, whatever you might want to do. And let's get started. Hi, so the things that you will need today to make this Otter Track bracelet is a hook. I'm going to be using a metal tip hook from Rainbow Loom. Then you will obviously need a loom. For today, we're only going to be using five pegs. One, two, three, four, five. And then, of course, you will need some Rainbow Loom bands. You can choose which colors you'd like to use. Today, I'll be using two colors, purple and pink. And then lastly, you are going to be needing a C-clip or an S-clip to finish off your bracelet. Let's get started. Okay, so before we begin, make sure that the red arrow on your loom is pointing towards you. If it is, then we can begin. Okay, to start, I'm gonna take my first color, which is this dark purple, and I'm going to lay it on the left, on these two vertical pegs. And then I'm gonna take my second color for the right side, which is this pink right here, and I'm just going to lay that on these two pegs right here. Now, you're gonna take the, your finger and grab the far side, the outer side of this band here on the left, and you're going to pull that inwards, like so, then twist it to make an X and put it on that center peg. I'll do that one more time. So you have your band like this. You're gonna grab that outer side of your band and you're gonna pull inwards and twist across this center peg, like so. Now you're going to do the same thing with this right side band. And grab the outer side, pull in, twist onto the center peg, great. Now we're gonna grab our hook, and um, if you look closely, you can see that there's two bands layered here. You have the purple one on the bottom from the left side, and the pink one on the top from the right side. You're gonna grab that purple bottom band with your hook, and you are just going to pull that forward and release. So it should look like this now. Great, so push down on all your bands because now we're going to layer on some more. So now we're going to go back to the left side and we're grabbing our left side band. For me, it's the purple. And instead of just twisting it onto these three pegs or just leaving it vertically on these two pegs, we're going to take it and place it straight onto these three pegs. So we're not gonna twist it, just place it regularly on these three pegs to make a triangular formation. Great, so now on these two, on this peg, this one and this one, there are two bands layered. So let's start with the center one first. We see that there's a pink band on the bottom and a purple band on top. We're gonna grab that pink band from the outside, take it, pull over and release with our hook. Now let's move on to this peg. 
we see that there's two bands, one purple and another purple. So we're just gonna grab that bottom purple band, take it, pull over and release. And now moving on to this last peg, and there's two bands layered over. We're gonna grab that bottom one from the outside. So this one right here, grabbing, pulling over and release. Push down on all our bands. And now we're gonna take our pink band for the right side. And we're going to lay that down on these three pegs. So same thing we did here, just that it's on the right side. One, two, and three. Great, now we're going to hook again. So looking at the center peg, you should see that there's two bands layered over. The band from your left side and the band from your right side, which you just placed. You're gonna grab that bottom purple one from the outside, pulling it over and release it from your hook. Great, now push down on that peg. Let's move on to these two pegs. Over here, you see two pink bands layered on. We're gonna grab that bottom one from the outside and we're going to take it over and release. Push down on your peg and then we're grabbing one, um, the bottom band from this peg right here, grabbing that from the outside pulling over and release. So it should look like this now once you've done the two sides. So this design is really easy because all you do is just repeat the same thing over and over again to make the design on your bracelet, the auto track bracelet. So I'll do this a couple more times so you can see what you're supposed to do. Once again, taking the left side band, so this purple one, and laying it down on these three pegs. Looking closely, we can see on the center peg that there is two bands, pink one on the bottom and a purple on top. Grabbing that pink one from the outside with our hook, taking it over and release gently. Now over here on this peg, two bands, grabbing that dark purple on the bottom from the outside and pulling that over Release, great. Moving on to this last peg on this last side. We're gonna grab that bottom band from the outside, pull it over gently and release. Now, when you're grabbing your band, make sure not to pull it from the inside because that will ruin your design. Um, you'll know you're doing it correctly when you see that the band you pull over is still sitting there like this. Um, um, the band that you placed, which is the top band. Great, so now let's move on to the right side. I'm grabbing that pink color and placing it on these three pegs. Moving on to that center peg right here, I'm grabbing it, pulling over gently. Great. Now we're grabbing that bottom band over here. It's that bottom pink one, grabbing it from the outside with her hook, pulling over and releasing. And over here, grabbing this bottom one from the outside, pulling over gently and release. Push down on all the bands. I'll do this three more times. Taking that purple band, placing it down on these three pegs taking this bottom band from this side. We can do it in any order as long as we're doing it correct. So taking that bottom band and pulling over. Same thing over here. This one, the pegs on the um, top left and right are like a little hard because it you can't go inside and grab it like you do with these ones where you can grab it from where that opening is in the peg. But you have to grab it from the side because if you grab it from the inside like this, you're going inside the band. So just make sure you grab it from the outside here and grab it and pull over and release. Awesome. Now, it's from the center peg, that pink one on the bottom, grabbing it, pulling over carefully and release. 
So our bracelet is starting to grow. I'll just show you what it looks like. And I'll also show you an example of how it looks like when it's supposed to be done. So these are two examples of the auto track bracelet I made. So one side looks like this, where it kind of weaves in with the two colors, both on the left and right. And then the other side looks like this. For this one, I did a pattern switching every four. And you can flip it over to see the other design. So it is reversible. So one side has two fishtails conjoined. And then the other one is this beautiful stitched in design. Let's continue with our bracelet. So we just finished making the, um, the, we just finished the left side. So we're gonna take our pink for the right side, placing it down on these three pegs, awesome. Now grabbing our hook, taking that bottom band from the center, pulling it over, release. Bottom band from that, um, like that bottom right peg, pulling over and releasing gently. Grabbing this one from the outside. Now, reminder again, don't take the bands from the inside. That will ruin your design. And also, every now and then, make sure to pull on the bracelet so it keeps stretching and it grows. Otherwise, it'll be mushed up and you can't see the design. It'll take up the space. So now, let's do the left side. I'll do this two more times. So taking this purple band, laying it down on these three pegs, like so. Now let's do the center peg where we see there's two bands. We're grabbing that bottom pink one, taking it over, release. Grabbing the bottom one from this peg, taking it over, release. The bottom one here, grabbing that, pulling over, release. And now we're going to lay down the pink band and grabbing this one, grabbing this one, bottom purple one, and grabbing the bottom one here. Now pushing down on all our bands and we're doing this one last time and I'll do the rest off camera. putting it on these three pegs, grabbing that bottom one, pulling over, grabbing that bottom one, oops, pulling over, bottom one, pull over, push down on all the bands. Let's stretch out this one, and you can see a design starting to grow. The auto track design. Now, moving on to the pink for the right side. So just taking that band from the center, pulling over, band from the center, or the bottom one, the bottom right one. I'm grabbing this one here from the outside, pulling over, pushing down on all the bands. And just a couple reminders before I do all of this off camera. Number one, make sure to stretch this bracelet every now and then so that the design grows. Number two, make sure to push down on all your bins so that it's easier to lay them on top and it's also to ensure that your bins don't fall off as you take the bottom band and pull over. And number three, grab the bins from the outside of the peg and with your hook and not from the inside. So when you, especially on these top right and left pegs where it gets a little hard to grab it from the outside so you're used to grabbing it from like inside where this opening is that would be considered going from the inside and grabbing the band and pulling over which will ruin your design so remember for these two pegs and especially all of the other ones as well to grab it from the outside and not going inside the peg grabbing the band and all of that so i'm gonna do the rest off camera and then i will show you how to finish your bracelet Okay, so I went ahead and finished the bracelet. So this fits my wrist size, so I think it should be good. And also, um, 
Make sure to get your C-clip or S-clip ready because we're going to be needing that in a second. And also, take a band of your choice. So, um, a band color because like we're going to need that to close off the bracelet. I'm going to be using a purple to close it off. Um, so, yeah. First thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your hook. And to do this, we're going to layer everything onto the center peg. So, let's start off with this one here. We're going to grab that band with our hook, and we're going to bring it to the center peg. So, we're not going to fold it over. We're going to t um, just put it on the peg just like how we took it, and let it go. Push down. Now, over here, grabbing that band, and we're not going to fold it. We're layering it on just like how we took it. Push down this one over here, grabbing that. We're not going to fold it over, just taking it and placing it on the peg. You might need to use your finger for this one. And there. Now, lastly, this one here. Take that with our hook and layer it on the center peg just like how we took it. And now we're going to grab that extra band with our finger, just hold on to it. And we're taking our hook and we're going inside, inside this peg and grabbing all the bands on our hook. Now take all those bands out. And there's still one here. Great. So it should come off on your hook like this. And now we're gonna take that extra band and go um, pull it onto the hook like so. And we're going to grab all of these bands. You should have five bands. We're going to push all of those five bands onto the other band, so over this hook, so it lands onto the purple band, like that. And you can use your finger to pull it through. And you'll know that you've taken all the bands out because you won't see another band caught in here, and it'll just be this single band from the the other end of this one and then it's on your hook just slide it over take your hook and insert it through the gap in between the band and let go so now we're going to take our c clip or s clip my c clip and just take out the hook put it on your finger so it was like this earlier and now just slide your finger through the gap and slide the hook out and you should have it on two fingers, that band, take your C-clip. And then just follow through to the other end where you should have two bands here. Tie it. And here's your Otter Track bracelet. So this is the final outcome of your Otter Track bracelet. This is what it looks like on your wrist. This is the other side. I really hope you guys enjoyed making this bracelet with me. And if you really like this tutorial, hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video from my channel. Bye!